Hey guys, so we're going to do a different video outside of the studio today because we're going to do a hands-on camera review of the Vivo X90 and the X90 Pro. So I have the X90 right here and the X90 Pro is currently shooting this video so you can really see how good the quality rating is. Now these two phones are very similar when it comes to their specifications because they are both powered by the same MediaTek Dimensity 9200 chipset and they have the very same Vivo V2 core processor that powers its imaging capabilities. So what we're going to do today is that we're going to do some street photo taking and alongside with Bell and we're going to make some comments about the camera quality of both phones. All right, so let's go start shooting right now. All right, so let's take a photo of the street right here. We are now at Kwai Tai Hall, uh, which is a very popular tourist attraction right here. So we're going to start with the X90 and followed by Bell, she's going to take a picture of the X90 for us now. So let's do it. Okay, so we have taken some shots with both the Vivo X90 and the X90 Pro. So we're going to talk about some of the photos that we just took earlier on. All right, so let's start off with this portrait photo of Bell that we just took. So Bell, what do you think? So this is the X90 and X90 Pro. So yep, you be the judge. Okay, so from my opinion, I actually like the X90 Pro better. It actually makes me look, I don't know, um, young, I guess. What? <laughs> you look younger? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> and for color wise, I think the X90 Pro uh, did better. It looks more vibrant. I mean, look at my shirt there. Like, you can see it. Yeah, you can see that uh, the X90 is yeah. actually a little washed out out yeah. there. And you know, let's not even mention the bokeh. It looks like the X, the bokeh on the X90 Pro looks a bit better, right? Yeah, the X90 Pro look a bit better. Like, if you look at the window side here, the, the X90 look a little bit artificial while the X90 Pro app. Uh, it looks a little artificial as well, but it doesn't look bad like the X90. So, and about the bokeh, uh, I think, I mean, you can focus on the hair. Okay, yeah, look at the, yeah, the subject really separation between the X90 and X90 Pro. Looks like the, looks like both of us did, did a pretty good job there. Yeah, it's actually not very bad at all. Yeah, so yeah, that's actually something that Vivo has always been really good at, portrait photos. So yeah, all right, let's uh, move on to the next one. And now let's talk details now as we know that the x90 pro has a larger one inch sensor and the x90 uses the OX80's 50 megapixel f1.8 sensor so bell what do you think about these two pictures that we took all right so two pictures that we took i actually prefer the x90 pro better so how about we zoom in on the flower okay so now the pictures zoom in and if you look at the x90 pro the sharpness is more refined if you look at the flower there at the i don't know what's it called but it's more sharp and if you look at the leaves look at that and if you look at the leaves at the x90 pro compared to the x90 the x90 pro is more sharp which is actually good yeah so that definitely shows the difference between a one inch sensor and a non one inch sensor uh, between these two phones so yeah the x90 pro definitely wins when it comes to taking sharper details and it's not just only on low light but it's also on regular lighting here as you can see yeah the difference is actually pretty big so yeah x90 pro wins all right so this is the second photo that we took which is the car that's right in front of us and this is basically to test out the difference between the Zeiss natural color mode uh, between the non size natural color mode. So Bell, what do you think about it? Okay, so both phone have the Zeiss mode turn on. I actually like the X90 Pro better. And if you can see the brightness as well for the whole photo, does it look better to me? I mean, if you don't want to compare with the X90, it's kind of look like a, a little bit dull right now. So I prefer the X90. So let's see with the Zeiss mode turn off. So this is with the Zeiss mode turned off. As you can see on the X90 Pro, the car looks very, very vibrant and so does the X90. Yeah, it, it looks it looks like super vibrant on, on the red car. It's, just, it's like Vivo's phones have this AI feature that detects objects and they try to saturate and make the colors more vivid all the time. So yeah, it's not necessarily a good thing all the time. So yeah, we definitely prefer the Zeiss natural color profile on these two phones as they really take good natural looking photos. But overall, looks like the Vivo X30 Pro is the obvious winner here because it really takes 
better details on photos and better colors as well but next we are going to find out how their telephoto lenses compare because they both have two types of telephoto lenses but the vivo x90 has a lower resolution at 12 megapixels whereas the x90 pro has a higher resolution at 50 megapixels so let's find out how different they are now, as you can see right on the top of PMB118, you can see that the Vivo X90 Pro's 50 megapixel camera definitely takes better detail than the X90. The X90 seems to have lost a bit of focus and detail right uh, on, on the top of the tower right here. As you can see on the windows, it definitely loses some detail that is not really, really good. But if you zoom out the entire picture right here, their colors actually look kind of similar. Like I say, if you really just zoom in, you will really find how beneficial the X90 Pro's telephoto camera really is because it has a higher resolution out there. Now, as for this second set of telephoto shots that we took, I definitely prefer the Vivo X90 right there if we don't zoom into the details because of the color optimization that the phone is doing here. The X90 Pro looks a bit way too overprocessed and oversaturated, whereby the Vivo X90's photo looks a little more natural in my opinion. What say about you, Belle? Uh, I think I would prefer the X90. It looks more, uh, looks more natural actually. I, I don't really like the X90 Pro. Like I don't know why it brightens up the building over there. Uh, so yeah, the X90 actually do better on this one. All right. So yeah, that's uh, that's our tally photo photo test, right? So we are gonna move on to a low light environment right now and find out how these two phones perform. So the next place that we are going to head to is Book Access in Rex Hale. So this place used to be a cinema back in the older days, but now it has been converted into a bookstore, which is actually pretty cool. And it's going to be a good place to test out the low light capabilities of the Vivo X90 and X90 Pro out there. So the X90 and X90 Pro, they are equipped with Zeiss T-Star uh, lens coating, which kind of helps to eliminate uh, ghosting in low light images. So yeah. Um, that is something that we are going to find out on how well these two phones perform. Alright, so we just finished taking some low light photos with these two phones and I can tell that they look amazing. Let's talk about them. Alright, let's take a look at this first picture. Alright, this is taken with the ultra camera of both phones and they actually look pretty good. Don't you think so, Mel? Yeah, I think they both look pretty good and pretty similar as well. But to me, I like the X90 Pro better. Alright, again, the X90 Pro wins. By, yeah. by how? Like, what did it want over the X90? Uh, first of all, if you look at the overall picture, it looks more natural compared to the X90, which you can see some parts of it are a little bit bright. And if you zoom in on Ward in there, ta-da! Yeah, that's me. Yeah, and you can see that if you look at Ward, he looks the color and the brightness on him actually looks brighter. And while the X90, it looks like it's working to make Ward Ward looks a little bit bright. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I look a, I look to have a little bit more contrast there. Right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, color definitely looks better right here. Uh, I'm not sure if you see it on PC screen. Definitely we are putting up the photos on PC screen as well. But yeah, as you can see, the, the contrast on the X90 Pro is definitely so much better than the X90, even though they have the same ultra wide camera. Okay. Now, this is the picture that we can demonstrate the power of the Zeiss T Star lens coating because it eliminates light flare from nearby neon lights. As you can see, look at this. Uh, LED light right here. It doesn't have the shimmer around the edges, the bezels of the light there. And let's zoom out the photos a bit. As you can see, uh, it actually lights up my face and, uh, my, and myself very naturally as compared to other phones that we have tested. We also tested the iPhone 14 Pro, but it actually has a lot of light glare around the LED right there. And my face is pretty dark because this is actually a pretty dark area. So I really think that both phones take a really, really decent picture on this part. 
And this third picture right here is the Rack Cinema, which it used to be a cinema, but it's now a performing stage. This is a super, super dark area, but I am just impressed on how this phones managed to brighten up the stage. Now, Belle, what do you think about these pictures? Okay, yeah, again, overall, both pictures, both phones, they all look the same, but wait, wait, let me zoom in. All right, details always matter, right? Yeah. All right. What do you so, think works? Um, I think the X90 Pro looks more refined and it looks like the X90 tends to take more detail. I'm not sure. Maybe it brightens up the walls a little. So from far, you actually look at it and it's like it's a little bit more detailed. Don't you think so? Yeah, I think uh, it, looked, it looks a little bit more detailed on the X90. I mean, look at the drums right there. It looks okay. better on the X90 Pro, right? Compared to the X90, it looks a little bit pixelated, don't you think? Oh uh, yeah, it does really make a bit of difference. That's why uh, a one inch sensor is always better when it comes to taking pictures in low light. And as you can see, the details of the drum right there that Bell has mentioned, it definitely looks a lot more refined uh, on the X90 Pro than it is on the X90. And the fourth picture that we are seeing right here is also another good example of why the X90 Pro is better than the X90. Look at my facial features here. It's actually way more natural and has more contrast as compared to the X90. The X90 kind of makes my face a little blur and the colors look a little bit washed out as well. It's kind of affected by the nearby lighting despite having the Zeiss T-Star coating. So I guess a one inch sensor definitely has its benefits when it comes to low light photos like this and I'm really really liking uh, what the X90 Pro is producing over the X90. You guys let me know what you think about these photos that we have shown so far in the comments below, shall we? And in terms of low light portrait, the X90 Pro once again show its power with the one inch sensor. As you can zoom into my face right here, you can see that it manages details way better than the X90 right there. You can definitely see better contrast on the X90 Pro's uh, 50 megapixel one inch camera as well. So yeah, I have to say that the X90 Pro is really, really good when it comes to image quality. But that's not to say that the X90 is bad. I mean, because if you don't compare with each other, because they are very, very uh, different phones when it comes to the cameras, I can also say that the X90 also takes pretty good pictures as well. Now this last photo that we have taken looks a little surprising right here as the X90 managed to produce more accurate colors and less washout colors as compared to the X90 Pro. We are not sure why we took a couple of times and it just looks the same. I mean the X90, look at the lights right here. It, it, it has all the colors shown properly as compared to the X90 Pro. All the colors look white. They, are, they don't have the RGB white color on the LED right there. And even look at this Carlsberg branding here. The, the Carlsberg branding on the X90 looks greener than it is on the X90 Pro. So this is actually a surprising win for the X90 over the X90 Pro. All right, so that pretty much concludes our straight photography session with the Vivo X90 and the X90 Pro. So yeah, these two phones are actually really great camera phones from Vivo. I'm really glad that Vivo has made some upgrades right here, especially on the X90 Pro. The one new sensor is really incredible, especially in low light photography. So yeah, uh, definitely stay tuned to our channel for more videos coming right up. And I hope that you guys love this format of videos because we don't do this very often. It's just that we're just out in the streets and we think of doing something different. So yeah, um, that's pretty much for today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to us and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.